and so welcome now for our today's discussion so uh, let's proceed with the integration of the last two transcendental functions no so we already discussed trigonometric and hyperbolic so this time we will discuss exponential and logarithmic functions okay so uh, dalawa yung set ng ano natin ng, ng theorems natin no so of course is for exponential is for logarithmics no so for ex for exponential for exponential functions we have the integral of e u d u is equal to e u plus c again we are abiding by the by the rules of u substitution no so then we have the integral of a u d u so that is a raised to u over ln a plus c no where a is any constant no so constant yung a yung e kasi guys uh, that is the euler's uh euler's constant no yeah so has a value of 2.718 something no so yeah, that's for ano no, uh, orders constant. Baka kasi akalain nyo kung ano yung letter E dyan, no? So, hindi po. A is any constant, okay? So, then we have here, <coughs> the for the logarithmic functions, no? The integral of the natural logarithm of u du, that is u times ln of u minus 1, no? Plus c. u times the quantity of ln u minus 1 plus c. Then we have here the logarithm, no? Yung logarithm of u du natin, that is uh, equal to u times the natural quantity of natural logarithm of u minus one all over the natural logarithm of ten plus c. No? So bakit ten? Uh, remember, no? If wala tayong base na nakalagay, that is automatically ten, no? Yung base natin is ten. So paano naman pagka hindi tan yung equivalent ng base ng logarithm natin, no? So dalawa yung formula na, na ginagamit natin, no? So let me discuss yung pinakaiba ng dalawa. So for the integral of the natural logarithm, or rather uh, logarithm of u base b du, no? So, that is, uh, first, yung first formula natin is u is equal to l and u minus 1 times the natural logarithm of b plus c. Or rather, over natural logarithm of b plus c. No? So, this is used for any kinds of function. No? Pero, yung, yung mas common na ginagamit. No? So, we have u times na natural logarithm of u base b. Or rather, logarithm of u base b minus the logarithm of e base b plus c however no this is not applicable for all kinds of u or all kinds of functions no this is only applicable for linear functions so ano ba yung mga linear functions natin no so for example uh if we have x but if you have 2x if you have uh x minus 3 uh so on and so forth no so yan yung mga linear functions natin so hindi siya pwedeng gamitin if uh mayroon tayong for example, x to the fourth. No, so, paano gina, anong anong pwede natin gamitin kapag ka uh, kapag ka uh, x to the fourth? No, so uh, later ipakita ko no kapag ka meron tayong ganitong example. Ayan, so okay, game. So let's ano no. Uh, let's uh, have some examples. No, by the way, before you proceed with the example, ayan, you can post this video and copy this uh, theorems and also review uh kuha kayo ng copy ng mga rules of uh, exponents and logarithms natin kasi gagamitin natin yon in evaluating functions yan so i assume you, i assume you have uh already post and copied copied the theorems and uh got the rules of exponents and logarithms by your side no para later check check na lang tayo and so let's have our first example. So sabi dito no, so we have here uh, the integral of e raised to x cubed x squared dx. No, yan. So again no, ano yung ano natin? Uh, exponential no na naka e. Ayan, obvious naman, no? Naka-E. Ayan, so, since this is our E, nevertheless, this is our U. No? So, U is equal to X cubed. Then, kunin natin differential. No? This, we, uh, this will, we will have uh, 3X squared DX 
No, tapos since x squared dx yung meron tayo, divide na natin yung 3 para makuha natin yung neutralizing factor. Therefore, uh, x squared dx is equivalent to 1 over 3 du. So, kunin natin. No? So, let ko muna yung neutralizing factor. Again, no? para at least alam natin na may constant na lalabas mamaya. eu du. And uh, meron na tayong formula for eu du, right? So, we have here 1 over 3 times e raised to u plus c. And alam natin e na u is x, x cubed. No? So, let's sub uh, back substitute natin for our final answer. e raised to x cubed plus c. So, ito yung final answer natin. Ayan. So, let's have number 2, no? So, I hope you guys, ano, no, naintindihan naman kung paano ginagamit, no? So, ayan. Sige, number 2 tayo. So, sabi dito sa number 2, no? Uh, we have here the integral of 3 to the x plus 4 to the x over 5 to the x dx. So, ito yung integral natin. So, ano bang gagawin natin dito? Siyempre, hindi pa naman natin ito pwede integrate agad, no? So, first I will do, no? Split ko siya dito sa numerator, no? Babasagin natin yung fraction into two fractions, no? Sa numerator. So, we will have the integral of 3 to the x over 5 to the x dx plus the integral of 4 to the x over 5 to the x dx. Ayan. So by ano no let's let us remember no yung ating uh, rules of exponent natin. Let's say if we have no if we have a raised to m over b raised to m no so is uh, saan to equivalent no rules of uh, exponent tayo. So this is equivalent to a over b quantity raised to m. Diba? So pwede natin to i-apply dito sa taas no para mas ma Dali natin siya ma-integrate. So, we have here the integral of 3 over 5 raised to x dx plus the integral of 4 over 5 raised to x dx. Okay? So, ayan. Ito yung bagong integral natin. And this is already integrable. No? This is already in the form of the integral of a u du. So, Game, okay, let's evaluate what is the integral of AU du. That is uh, A raised to U over ln A plus C, no? So, gamitin natin yon. So, 3 over 5 raised to X over the natural logarithm of 3 over 5. Okay, then plus 4 over 5 raised to X over natural logarithm of 4 over 5 a plus c so eto na pwede na tong uh, final answer natin na. kasi uh, pwede pa naman to manipulate actually no but uh, it is unnecessary kasi wala namang maka-cancel okay so this is already fine ayan so i hope you guys got uh, example number 3 no so eh number 2 ayan so another example tayo no so we have here uh, let's go for not, uh, logarithm sa mana, no? So, number 3. Ayan. So, sabi dito, no? Uh, we are to evaluate the integral of the natural logarithm of 4x squared over the natural logarithm of 2x squared uh, 2x squared dx x dx rather. So, ayan siya, no? So, okay. So, let's evaluate, no? So, what, anong gagawin natin? So, uh, di ba, loss of uh, natural lo or loss of logarithms muna. So, if we have ln of A over ln of B. So, this is equivalent to what? Di ba? This is ln of A minus B. So, therefore, our new integral is the natural logarithm of 4x squared minus 2x squared. That is 2x squared x dx. Diba? And this is our u. No? u is equal to 2x squared. Okay? And du, this is uh, 4x dx. Diba? So, 
pwede na natin itong isolve. No? So, since may xdx tayo, pwede na natin the 4 para sa neutralizing factor. So, therefore, xdx is equal to 1 over 4 dd. No? So, lagay lang natin. 1 over 4 times the natural logarithm of u du. Uh, and alam natin na no, meron na tayong formula for ln u du. So, gamitin natin yun. So, we have here 1 over 4 times uh, u times ln u minus 1 plus c. No? So, and alam natin, no? ln e, uh, rather u is equal to 2x squared. So, we have here 1 over 4 times 2x squared of ln of 2x squared minus 1 plus c. No? So, makakancel to. So, ito yung may e1. Okay, so therefore, our final answer is x squared over 2 times the natural logarithm of 2x squared minus 1 plus c. Okay? So, ayan. So, ito yung final answer natin. Okay? So, yan. That's for number... Ano, number number uh, number 3 so let's take this ano no last example ayan so yung regular logarithm naman natin so number 4 sabi dito no uh, the integral of of log base 2 of x squared plus 8x plus 16 dx. Okay? So, ayan. So, let's evaluate, no? So, by looking at u, no? Ito, syempre, matik. Ito yung u natin, ano? Ayan. So, by looking at u, is this a perfect square trinomial? By looking at it, diba? Is this a perfect square trinomial? Yes, diba? So, actually, this is equivalent to x plus 4 quantity squared. Just diba x squared? Then 4x times 2, that is 8x. Then square ng 4 is 16. So, pwede natin i-rewrite yung integral natin na log 2 of uh, x plus 4 squared dx. Then, since ano nga, no, hindi tayo pwede mag-evaluate mag ng uh, non-linear functions when we are talking about uh, logarithms, Okay, so, kailangan nating ilabas, uh, i rather, i-manipulate yung logarithm natin. Okay? By going back to the rules of logarithm, if we have log of logarithm of A base B, okay, tas yung A naka-raise, let's say, raise to M, diba, this is equivalent to M times the logarithm of A base B. Diba? So, gamitin natin siya dito. So, we have here the integral of 2 log of 4 uh, x plus 4 base 2 dx okay so ayan so pwede lalabas na yun 2 then pwede natin i-evaluate kasi linear function na yung x plus 4 no so u is equal to ano na to ah hindi na to yung u dito sa taas iba na to so x plus 4 ito na yung gagamitin natin for u substitution so du is dx so wala naman ng Kaiba, no? So, pwede na natin siya i-evaluate. So, the integral of 2 log of u base 2 du. So, and meron na tayong uh, formula for this, no? Yun yung u uh, times the log u times the quantity of log u base uh, base b minus log of e base b plus c. No? So, gamitin natin yun. So, we have here 2 times no? yung u natin log of u base b no minus log of e base b plus c okay then back substitute natin no ano yung value ng uh, ng u natin so x plus 4 that is 2 times x plus 4 no times log of x plus 4 base uh, base 2 
minus log of uh, e base 2. No? So, plus c. Yan. So, ano lang, na-simplify na lang natin. So, we have here, no, ito. Two x plus eight times log of x plus four base two minus log of e base two plus c. Yeah, so this is our final answer. Ayan, so yeah, so that's how we evaluate uh, logarithms, no? Uh, logarithmic functions. So I hope you guys learned something, no? So you practice, practice, and practice, no? Para makabisad din. So thank you again for listening. Stay safe and God bless.